All right, so this video is going to help students who are struggling with understanding how to regroup with addition. So in this example, we've created our place value chart, understanding the tens place and the ones place. And I, normally we're given an abstract equation like this, and our students are asked to solve it. In regrouping, a lot of students under, misunderstand how what regrouping is and what it looks like. So the first way we start to teach regrouping is with concrete manipulatives. So I have two tens. So here are my two tens. And I have seven ones. Okay. Now I also have one group of 10 and 14. And four ones in a group of 14. This is the concrete uh, representation of tens and ones of 27 plus 14. We can also connect this understanding into a representation by drawing the picture. And some students know how to draw the picture and some students don't. So we need to teach them what that looks like. Well, I have three tens. One, two, three. And I have seven ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have four ones here. One, two, three, four four ones from the 14. So now students are, can see the, the, the conceptual plus the representational plus the abstract thinking all in one process together. Now we can talk to students, okay, let's add the seven plus the four. We can count our, our blocks to talk about how many we have. Well, I have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we have 11 blocks. Now we can talk about how in the ones place, we can only fit one digit. We don't put a two digit number inside of a one, inside the ones place. So what can we do? Well, if I have 10 blocks and I have groups of tens, hopefully some students will connect the idea that, oh, I can turn these ones into a group of 10. So I'm going to make a group of 10. The understanding that we made a group of 10, put all of our ones together, and now it belongs over here with the tens. That was the concrete example. Now in the representation, well, what did we do? Didn't we take 10 of them? We took 10 of them, I'm gonna circle 10. And what did we do with them? We moved the whole group over to the tens place. That's not there and that's not there anymore. So how much is left? One is in the concrete, one is in the representational, which means we have one in the ones place. But we also moved that group of 10 over. So what does that look like? Where is that group of 10 going to go? That group of 10 goes over into the tens place, right? So now we have one plus two plus one. Because this is not just a one that we're placed that we're adding here. This is actually a group of 10. I have one group of 10. I have two groups of 10. I have another one group of 10. So how many groups of 10 do I have? Four. How many groups of 10 do I have in my representational one two three four and if I add my numbers one two three four in my abstract I see my abstract representation of 41 which connects to my representational understanding of 41 which connects to the concrete understanding of 41 so they all relate to one another now this may have to repeat several times in order for students to really grasp the concept they need the manipulatives and they need to draw it out in order to really help them understand. Eventually after practice, the manipulatives can kind of fall away and students will hopefully be able to draw the representation without using the manipulatives. But for some students, they'll, they might still need the manipulatives. And then of course, when they get to third and fourth grade and fifth grade, when they're still doing addition with regrouping, they'll either know the representation and they'll be able to do the abstract 
equation without using the manipulatives because now I understand the concept of what it means to regroup. I put that group of 10 together and I moved it over to the tens place. So this is an example of how we can work with our students to show them what the concrete example looks like because the concrete example is what really understand and connect to what they're doing when they're adding with regrouping.